Hey guys, it's Brianna. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a shoe collection. Hey, can I help you? I'm sorry, but uh, who? Who? Who what? Who asked? What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to my closet where I keep all of my shoes. I try to keep all of my shoes on these two shelves behind me. I keep my like normal day-to-day -day shoes on one side and then my not so day-to-day -day shoes or shoes that I honestly haven't worn in ages on the other side. Let's start with the shoes that I wear the most. I have my house shoes. These are Adidas slides. I used to think slides were the most uncomfortable shoes to ever exist because they were all very hard. Well, these are squishy. So I've had these for a couple of years. I really enjoy them. I wear them all the time. Let's talk about my everyday shoes. First everyday pair of shoes, I have my low old school Vans. I wear these way too often. I wear them to work all the time. As you can tell, I have a toe dragging problem and you'll see that in a lot of my shoes. I'm the type of person that if a shoe isn't falling off your foot, then you are still good to wear it. I say that, but recently I did go out and I did purchase a new pair. I've only worn these once. Every time I try to wear my old school Vans, it's raining. So I just end up wearing my old pair or I'm going to work and I don't want to try to break in a new pair at work. So these will eventually circle into my rotation, but as for now, I'm still sticking with these. The next pair are my high top black Converse toe dragging problem. These are beat to shit. The soles are this like prickly material now because of how much like sweat and dirt and like just wear and tear. There's also tearing on this back spine piece. You can also kind of tell that there's like a little bit of wear from how I walk. Another pair of high tops that have been beat to shit are my high top old school Vans. They also have wear and tear from where I walk. Not as much as the Converse because I tend to not wear these as much just because they are a little bit bulkier. The soles on these are completely dead. It's just the support is gone. Again, with the toe dragging problem and then the kind of beach of shit as well so for these I do want to get a new pair I used to hate thick bottom vans I used to think I could only wear the small sold ones because I thought my feet were too big here are an example of those I don't wear these anymore I have not worn these shoes since like high school but I used to like only wear these thin sold ones because I thought my feet were so big and the other ones made me look like I was wearing clown shoes when in reality these probably made me look like I was wearing clown shoes but that's okay they're literally bigger than my head and my foot is not that big the next pair of shoes are my old slip-on checkered vans I stopped wearing these for a hot minute and then somehow recently got back into wearing them I don't really know why I mean they're kind of cool. Hopping back on the Converse train. Oh my God. I don't wear these anymore. These are my old white Converse. They are yellow now. The first time I wore these was like 4th of July. I walked through mud because they looked too clean. I learned that from One Direction. They look a bit new, so we're just gonna scuff them up a bit. <laughs> these are gross. Another pair of Vans. As you can tell, I like Vans. My white slip-on Vans. Following the trend, they are not white anymore. These are in fact yellow. I wear these a lot, but they definitely have a lot of wear. The canvas on the inside is tearing, as well as it's tearing apart from the rubber piece. Moving to the next thing, my Birkenstocks. For the longest time, I did not want Birkenstocks. My issue with them is as you can tell, my toe does not sit in the right spot. My toe sits on the little toe hump and I just kind of have to deal with it. Is this weird? I'm gonna hold them back here so you can't be creepy, but these are my Burks. I wear those a lot during the summer because they're the easiest shoe for me to put on. Oh my gosh, literally all of my shoes are covered in dog fur. I cannot escape it. Next, blue pair of Vans. I do not wear these as much. I do not wear these as much as I should. These are adorable. However, I have a hard time styling shoes that are not black or white or yellow, considering all of my white shoes are dirty as shit. These don't get as much wear as they should. Every time I do wear them, I love them, and then I forget what outfit I wore with them and I never wear that outfit again. I think last for the Vans are these Vans. I don't know how I feel about these Vans. First off, the soles of these are really cool. I stopped wearing them as much because of the checkered. The sole that came on these shoes were the Ultra Cush, Ultra, Ultra, 
Ultra Kush Sole, which is an extremely thick sole. It made me feel like my foot was being extremely compressed by one of those like metal hydraulic press things. So I ended up buying some Feel Your Sole soles. I just don't wear these as much as I probably should. These are my last two pairs of shoes that are on my heavy rotation shelf. The first one are my Nike Blazers. I don't understand sneaker culture. I'm not going to pretend to. I really like these shoes. I hate the amount of time that it takes to put them on. I have a family member who also has these shoes he doesn't have that problem but for some reason I do and I have to unlace them halfway to get my foot inside of them and because of that and lack of convenience I just don't wear these as much and the last pair on my heavy rotation shelf are my off-white and green Reeboks I like them okay they're such a grandpa shoe I love shoes that remind me of like orthopedic shoes I slightly feel like a clown when I wear these and that's fine a grandpa clown is all I can ask for for Christmas. I have two pairs of shoes that are not on the everyday shelf. However, I do wear them more often than most shoes. They are my Mary Jane Doc Martens. I wear these ones all the time. I love these shoes so much. The next shoe are my trusty dust the Doc Martens. Well, they're not that dusty compared to some shoes in my closet. I love these shoes. I wear them all the time. The break-in process was not hard because I do wear a half size up. Now speaking of dusty Doc Martens, I have these. These are the first pair of Doc Martens that I ever bought myself. I did not realize when I bought these that they are the shiny ones and not the normal ones until I got home and I looked at a picture online and I realized that I bought the wrong ones and I was too embarrassed to return them. So I was like, you know what, it's, just, it's fine. I'm gonna make it work, it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out in the end. And then it didn't because I never wear these. They are a half size too small for me because again, they don't make half sizes. The break-in process has never ended with these. But I did so many things to these shoes and they still just have not broken in. That's all of the shoes that I wear the most on a day-to-day -day basis. I have more shoes. So we're gonna do a speed run of those just because they're not as important to me. I don't really wear them. I don't think I've worn them in years and I need to get rid of them, but I thought I'd share and tell you what I got. NYNC Little Heels, Steve Madden Square Toe Block Chunky Heels, my old Adidas from 2016. Black low top converse, these sandals, these flip flops, these sandals, these sandals, these sandals, Chacos, my business casual ballet flats, my business casual loafers my fun loafers i honestly forgot that i had these but i have these pair of vans i just don't know how to style them and one day i'll figure it out but today is not that day brown boots that fold down to be too layered i wore these with skinny jeans and a red t-shirt and i was the epitome of fashion so that's it for my shoe collection i think we learned that i need to learn how to clean my shoes Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, subscribe down below because maybe you'll like the next one. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories.